All right, circle diagrams, yes. I think most agnostics, most people who call themselves agnostics, view the two camps like this. Theist on one side, atheist on the other, and agnostics comfortably in the middle. Neither claiming nor disclaiming, if that's a word. Maybe I should get another coffee. The belief in a god. Oh, we're just sitting on the fence. We're not going to claim one way or the other. I think this is how most atheists view the situation. There is this group, theist, actively believing and claiming to believe in a deity. And then atheist is everybody outside of that. You're a theist or you're not a theist. You're either in the little blue circle or you're outside of it, where atheist encompasses everything else. This is my point. Every one of these little shapes is an individual person with their own concept of a deity in their head. Some of these individuals may claim to be the same religion. But in fact, the concept of God that they're believing in is their own. Is it based on a religious text that they're all reading from? Some, sure. Others have formulated their own opinion, have created their own concept of God to believe in. Whether it's based on a religious text or not, they've uh, modified it a bit to uh, corroborate a little better with the scientific evidence of the world, you know, whatever. Individual concepts of God. And then atheist would be everybody else. So you either, it's still in this case, I mean, they're all different, but you either actively believe or you don't. And don't is the default position, the position that encompasses everybody else. That's my point. So the discussion that we're having, is it largely semantic? Or are we talking over each other? Are agnostics really talking about knowledge and atheists talking about belief? Or are we just butting heads for political reasons? Just think about that for a few.